final checks for pilot Andre Borschberg as he prepares to step into the cockpit of the Solar Impulse aircraft. After several delays due to bad weather, the plane is finally set to take off from China and head out over the Pacific. It'll be the project's longest flight yet. Related to the duration, of course, is the uncertainty of the weather. Uh, but it seems to be that we have a good weather window. Nearly 6,000 miles away on the Riviera, Solar Impulse staff are monitoring conditions closely from their mission control centre in Monaco. Here, a team of engineers, meteorologists and flight planners keep a close eye on weather conditions. It's a non-stop job with conditions changing from moment to moment. We have to manage two types of energies. The energy for the plane and the energy for the pilot. The energy of the plane, it depends on the cloudiness, it depends on the speed at which you fly with tailwind or headwind, and this is already difficult. To this you have to add the energy management of the pilot. The pilot needs to sleep little naps of 20 minutes at a time. For this you need the autopilot, so you need no turbulence and no clouds. And you have to integrate this into the general weather pattern. So it's like a, a huge puzzle in three dimensions. In this case, weather analysts soon saw that an atmospheric front would force the plane to land earlier than expected in Japan. The team are now preparing for another long flight to Hawaii and celebrating the last leg, which covered more than 2,800 kilometers in around 44 hours. Those are new world records for solar-powered flight, but records the team will be planning to break again soon. Sigasaka, Sigasaka, boss.